a new system, a laptop, a two-in-one. What are the names for these in, in 2020? It's hard to keep it all together. It's called the Dragonfly, and it's a, it's a premium offering from HP. It defies gravity. I have experimented with so many different form factors. When you're constantly getting the latest and greatest stuff, you're always needing to reevaluate what the right tool for the job is. Now, I did read that this device is one of the lightest two-in-one convertibles with a 13-inch display. I believe it's 2.2 pounds, is that right? Yes, yeah, starting weight is 2.18 pounds. Now, this has a kind of a nice blue color to it. Is there an official name for that color? Is that a cobalt? This is light. Wow, okay, galaxy blue. Oh, it's a matte finish. So it's gonna be fingerprint resistant. Of course, the new HP logo here, Thunderbolt. There's a dedicated headphone jack, full-size HDMI port, USB-A port, power switch. That's like a Kensington lock. And then, hang on, I got it. Oh, cool. That's a SIM card slot. And there is your keyboard. So it is a chiclet style keyboard. Let's check the travel. Actually, fairly substantial travel for something that's that thin. Trackpad extends right to the bottom of the frame. We have a fingerprint scanner over here and Core i7 eighth generation processor, speakers where they should be on a laptop. The magic trick, boom, all the way around. Two for one, a two for one deal. And this is where the the weight factor plays a big role is when you do the actual flip around. Some of these can feel a little heavy if you're used to a traditional tablet. So shaving that down as much as you can, in this case, all the way down to 2.2 pounds, alleviates some of that motivation to reach for a dedicated device like a tablet because you hardly notice the fact that it's a full scale laptop hiding on the back. A-shape mode like this, and this is useful for watching multimedia. You might wanna have the bowl of cereal in front of the display and you don't have the deck of the keyboard. People use this for presentations as well. I don't know if you knew that, Will. This is the other mode here. That's another sort of presentation mode you can do. I'm trying to pack as much functionality from a form factor perspective into one singular device. This is light, Will. That's a slab, that's a brick. Feel this. Yeah, it's that's, pretty light. That's 2.2 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. It's a touch display, 1920 by 1080 on all the different configurations. And the top configuration over here, I think this is the one that I have. Better storage, 512 gig plus 32 gig Intel Optane. A cleaning cloth. Okay, so here it is. So this thing's gonna charge up over USB Type-C as well. And it's got a couple of buttons on it. In the past, what I've done is just used it as an alternative to the trackpad where you're kind of, you can tap up as you're doing work, some extra pen tips in there. Oh, wow. Okay. There's some thought that went into this power brick. You have the braided nylon style cable, which is thick. Kirk could wear a sweater made out of this. That's 65 watts. HP, they're paying attention, Will. I mean, you got a nod from Will do. It's not easy to get. And even a slow one. Very nice. Now, I have the sleeve over here, so I might as well give it a quick try. All right. Ooh, established 1939 in California, USA. Ah, that's leather. It's got a spot for the pen. Lovely. So you never know where to put these things when you travel. That's wonderful. They're aiming squarely at my heart. Am I ready for business or what? Imagine me walking through the office like this. Imagine how much more I'd be getting done. I like the fact that the keyboard is spill resistant. Let's boot this up. Power switch is over here on the side. The nice little chrome detail there on the hinge. HP SureView. If you want some privacy and the people around you not to look at what you're looking at or be able to look at what you're looking at because it's highly confidential work that you're doing as it would be, you can turn that on. HP SureView, F2, very cool. It's a very friendly uh, tune right there. All right, so we're gonna set up the face recognition. And it's gonna grab my face. All right, so I've got it booted up, set up now. And I just boosted the brightness. It turns out this is the 1000 nit display 
but this is a custom config. So it's the top of the line spec with the SureView and the 1000 nits. If you wanna use this thing in brightly lit environments and you need to overwhelm the ambient light with your display, you can either order this in a pre-configured setup or you can go in and custom order it and do something like that, pick which display you want and so on. Okay, so Windows Hello, it's it finds your face, it unlocks. You can see the infrared up there. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera. You hit enter, it sees you, beautiful. So it is incredibly thin and light, obviously, as you can tell. And sometimes you could take a hit with the audio performance because you got to jam it into such a thin chassis. So I'll load up a YouTube video real quick. Oh. 2020, given various world events, the current title, it's like yeah. a bathtub for your smartphone. The truth is, we haven't really had a clear line up until this point as far as what you should, could, what the manufacturer wants you to wipe your phone with. So obviously, yeah, you can wipe your phone. I'm surprised. There's actually some low end in there. Sometimes thin and light laptops have tinny sound and you feel like you're lacking some low end. So I'm glad they paid some degree of attention to it. Some pen configuration settings over here. I've just paired it up. Single press Microsoft whiteboard, double press screen sketch long press Cortana, and then you're just, I mean, you're tapping away. It's super convenient, obviously. I love scrolling with a pen on these two-in-ones. As I mentioned before, sometimes you just, you wanna reach up and actually ignore the trackpad because it's so responsive to use a pen for that purpose. You can switch into tablet mode. Okay, sure. And now you're laying back on the couch. You're watching some videos. Ooh, you think it got that? It did. All right, so what can I say? I mean, I think it's all about the weight. This is, this is a really aggressive approach at getting a 13.3 inch two in one all the way down to 2.2 pounds, which like I said, I believe that is the lightest convertible, maybe even 13 inch laptop. I don't know if I've had a 2.2 pound 13 inch laptop in here on the show previously, let alone one where you can spin the display all the way around. So this one is light enough that you, you feel a bit more natural in the tablet form factor and the thing doesn't feel flimsy. You're still talking about premium materials in use. It feels sturdy for something that somehow only comes in at 2.2 pounds. And you also got the sure view so I could keep Kirk and Will off my display because God knows what they're peaking. They're peaking peeking when they shouldn't be peeking. Just noticed something. I wanted to make sure it got into the video. There's also this camera privacy slide and it gives you this nice zebra indicator to let you know if you have it turned on. So it's a, it's a pretty private machine. First you have the SureView display so prying eyes from the side don't see. And then you've also got the camera cover. So eyes looking this way, it's a lot of privacy going on.